Many Magic the Gathering players ask the question, what can I use as tokens other than the bland and colorless functionality of white notepad paper and Sharpie markers? Well, you can use the official tokens that are randomly seeded within booster packs, but for many players, this is the equivalent to sticking to the default color scheme on your desktop, which oftentimes feels like no color at all. But don't you think it would be rather plain to stick with the default, we like to customize ourselves, to show our flair with color and style. So why not customize our play experience with tokens that reflect our style and taste? Let's begin with the tokens of Cardamajigs, an online site which offers their own line of uniquely styled tokens, as well as selections of other artists. I've been a big fan of Cardamajigs for a long time, mostly because their art and style look so different and distinct from that of typical MTG art. The tokens are cartoonish, bright, happy, and silly, all qualities I personally enjoy. To me, a Cardamajig token says fun is about to happen. And I especially like that not everything in Magic the Gathering now needs to be dark and gritty. One of the great things about Cardamajig's online site is also that you can buy individual tokens. You don't have to buy them in giant packs. So if you just want one token, if you just want 10 of a single design of token, this can all be done. The tokens are designed specifically for Magic the Gathering and the type of tokens that your creatures and spells might create. These bright and cheery illustrations are available on playmats as well. I'm a big fan of the Merfolk playmat. Dull surprise. 12 point C2S and 270 GSM. The biggest fault here that I see is that the corners are not rounded. Now this isn't a major problem as you can still double sleeve Cardamajig's tokens, or yes, single sleeve them. But if you play with them unsleeved, I do find that the corners are a little sharp. But this is a very minor fault and all over, I would give Cardamajig's tokens an A minus. And we've talked about this before, but I'll talk about it again. Art is subjective, so you may love or not like this style of art. If you don't like it, then there's nothing wrong with you. There are many other styles to choose from, as we'll be getting to in just a moment. But if this style of art does speak to you, then never mind the grade whatsoever. It's a solid A, because your taste is what matters. Cardamajigs also offers designs of many other artists on their tokens. And there's a wide selection to choose from here. Everything from your favorite MTG cosplayers in token form, to technical art by artist Travis Lacey. And on the Cardamajigs site, you can even order tokens made by actual MTG artists, such as these Angelarium tokens from artist Peter Moorbacher. Magic the Gathering artist Peter Moorbacher has transformed his Angelarium project into unique and engaging tokens for use with Magic the Gathering. Angelarium is a project Moorbacher has been working on for over 10 years, bringing life to the named angels from throughout multiple mythologies. Here Moorbacher offers these as tokens for sale as singles on cardamajigs or in collector's packs on his own website. This is such an interesting high art project, taking all the named angels from throughout our collective mythologies and rendering them in illustrations is just very, very fascinating, and that's what Moorbacher is doing here. Just some of the artwork that Moorbacher is responsible for includes Animar, Soul of Elements, Brimaz, King of Ereskos, Gavany Township, Grimgrin, Corpseborn, Mogus, God of Slaughter, and of course, Nyssa Worldwaker. Oh, and we mustn't forget Tybalt the Fiendblooded. Don't blame Moorbacher for what the card does or what it doesn't do. But let us praise Moorbacher instead for giving Tybalt his sense of haute couture. I, I like how Tybalt dresses. 
Magic the Gathering artist Jason Engel has also worked on Angelarium, and his token designs are available as well, either on cardamajigs or as part of packs on Morbacher's site. And of course, Peter Morbacher also offers playmats and prints of his Angelarium designs, and of course, prints of his Magic the Gathering illustrated cards. This is next level artistry and style, and the quality of the tokens is excellent. A solid A, but again, if this is art that speaks to you, that makes it an A+. RK Post has been making Magic the Gathering art since Exodus set, and is still active as an MTG artist today. Post's Magic the Gathering artwork and contribution to cards are simply too numerous to list. Among them are the Avatar of Woe, Covetous Dragon, Lightning Angel, and of course, Morphling. Post's work is super stylistic. He has described it as appearing somewhere between photorealistic and equally twisted. pre raphael light with gothic sensibility. As the art direction of Magic the Gathering has trended more towards homogeny in recent sets, I absolutely adore seeing an artist like Post create work without restrictive oversight. Personally, I'm a huge fan of the gangster-like goblin tokens for use with my Krenko mob boss commander deck, but there's so much more here to love. And Post's website offers every conceivable configuration, whether you just want to buy singles, what a relief, or if you want to buy packs sorted by creature type, or packs sorted by newness to oldness, or whatever style you desire, or even if you want to commission custom ones, Post has it all. And like most MTG artists, he offers a large selection of prints and even playmats available as well. And I just can't wait to get this Tide Sculler up on my wall. It was too big for all my frames. It's gorgeous. Look at that. The selection is absolutely staggering. Over the few weeks of my producing this video, Post had added even more tokens and selections to his online store. Seriously, I had to add these lines you are hearing now the night before filming. I love Post's work so much, I'd be tempted to just give him the straight A plus right off the bat, but again, that's factoring in my own personal taste and adoration for his style. The quality of his tokens, his mats, his prints is all a solid A, but if you are like me and you love Post's style, then yes, this is absolutely an A plus, and you may want to add some or all of it to your collection. Magic the Gathering artist Johan Voss uses Patreon as a way to create and send tokens and other artwork to his supporters. Voss's magic cards include Angelic Destiny, Arachnogenesis, Blood Artist, the scarf-wearing kitty art of Daybreak Coronet, I love that one, and the wildly popular Gift of Orzova, to name just a few. Voss's tokens are flawless. Superb German engineering at this print shop to create tokens that are 300 GM coded playing card stock with an actual offset print of incredible sharpness. Digital print just can't reach this level. And of course, they're the exact same measurements as magic cards and can be double sleeved or yes, single sleeved, I suppose. So Voss distributes all of his tokens and other work through Patreon. And depending on the size and frequency of your pledges, Voss also offers postcards, hand-drawn or hand-painted tokens and artist proof, exclusive tokens and designs, and other exciting displays of his artistry so that you can distinguish and show off yourself and your Magic the Gathering style. Since this is Patreon, you can join and cancel at any time, get the type of gift that you want for yourself, and oh, this is nice, shipping is free. I also really like the type of interaction Voss offers between himself and his patrons. He's frequently asking those that support him on Patreon what types of tokens and styles and other types of offerings they want to see next. Highly communicative, highly personable, and yes, this is another A or A+, if you happen to love 
Voss's style, and how can you not? So whether it's the bright, cheery style of cardamajigs, the deeply serene artwork of Peter Moorbacher and Jason Engel, the stylistically twisted illustrations of R.K. Post, or the rich and vibrant artwork of Johann Voss, there's surely a style of art out there that speaks to you. And there's no wrong answer here because we are talking about yourself, your tastes, and your sensibilities.